Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about routers and external components of routers. What is a router? Router is a device which enables communication between two or more different logical networks. So what are this? See, we have example. We have one head office and branch office. Right. In head office, one LAN. All these PCs are connected to switch. These head office PCs are in 192.168.1.0 network. Similarly, in branch office, all these PCs are connected to switch LAN, and this LAN is in 192.168.2.0 network. Right. Two offices, two branch of no head office and branch office. I want to connect these two offices. Then we need to have a router. One router for Hyderabad office. This is router symbol. One router for Hyderabad office. We have to connect router. This LAN to this router. This is head H1, you know, head office router. And similarly, we have to have one more router in branch office. This is branch office router. We have to connect this to LAN. And then we have to connect these two routers through some WAN link. We will discuss, we will see in detail what are the types of WAN links are available. Right. So like this we can connect one office to other office with the help of routers. So in this router, routers are classified into two, fixed router and modular router. So what is this fixed router? In this fixed router all these components are fixed. In this fixed router we cannot replace the components, we cannot add extra interface. Whereas in modular router, all these you know, components, small you know, interfaces are coming in module. So that's why it's called as a modular router. We can replace the interface and we can add extra interface according to requirement. Right. In these routers, all the components are divided into three categories. First one, LAN interfaces. LAN interfaces. And second one, WAN interfaces. Second is WAN interfaces. And third, administrative interfaces. Interfaces. Right. Now, we'll see first LAN interfaces. What are the LAN interfaces are there in the road? First LAN interface is AUI, Attachment Unit Interface. Attachment Unit Interface. And this AUI has 15 pins. It has 15 pins. And we can connect LAN to this AUI. And this has 15 pins if you want to connect RJ45 connector, CAT5 cable connects RJ45 connector. If we cannot directly connect to this AUI, that's why we need transceiver. Transceiver is a converter to connect to AUI. One LAN interface. Another LAN interface is RJ45 port. In this RJ45 port, it supports different bandwidths. So like this, we have 10 Mbps bandwidth, 10 Mbps bandwidth, 100 Mbps bandwidth, and then 1000 Mbps bandwidth. Right. Different bandwidths are available. So this is all in Mbps. 10 Mbps port is called as Ethernet port. This is for LAN. And 100 Mbps port is called as Fast Ethernet port. 1000 Mbps is called as Gigabit Ethernet port. All this are for LAN. And next, we have WAN interfaces. How to connect? I mean, what are the interfaces are there first of all? Right. WAN interfaces, we have one serial. Right. C interface is for WAN connectivity. In this serial, again, there are two types. First one is normal C interface, normal serial. And second is smart serial. Normal C interface has 60 pins. 6, 0, 60 bits. And a smart C interface has 26 bits. Function is same for both. You know, physical appearance is different. 60 pins, 26 bits for connecting branch offices or remote location. And then we have one more C interface, BRI, basic rate interface. This is basically for ISDN line. And this BRI is RJ45 port for ISDN lines. And next, we have administrative interfaces. In this administrative interfaces, there are two types of administrative interfaces. One is console port, and the one is auxiliary port. Console port is for local administration. Local administration. So what is this local administration? So after purchasing a new router, if you want to configure a new router, the first time configuration is called as initial configuration. For initial configuration, we have to connect to console port. 
And in future, if any problem comes, we can troubleshoot through console port. That's what is also called as advanced troubleshooting. It is for advanced troubleshooting. And next is auxiliary port is for remote administration. It's for remote administrative ports or for remote administration. So same function. So we can access the router remotely and we can maintain the router, we can troubleshoot the problems in the routers. So these are the interfaces of routers available in the router. Hello, this is our Zoom lab setup, CCA lab setup. So these are physical routers. Like this we have two racks. Now we will see one by one the components of these routers. Okay. So let us take this router, this is 2600 series. The model is 2611. Like this we have 26.0, 2611. Many routers are there. So these, are, these are the components of routers. Right. So these are LAN interfaces. It has two LAN interfaces, Ethernet 0 slash 0 and Ethernet 0 slash 1. We can connect two LAN in this. Like this we have two LAN interfaces. So two CL interfaces, we can connect two branch interfaces. So I was discussing about no smart C interface. These two are smart C interfaces. And this card is called as WIC card, WAN interface card, 2T. It has two ter terminals. We can connect two branch offices. And then it has one I ISDN port that is BRI. ISDN interfaces, BRI interface for connecting branch office and it has two administrative interfaces one is for local administration console port and other is for remote administration auxiliary port and this is power switch and power socket like this all the components are there in the routers so these are the external components of routers